We're talking with James Wiebe of Beeline Aircraft. And James, normally we're at the Light Sports Show at Sebring. You're here with an airplane. But this time you've come with something that's going to have some really interesting applications for the light sport and experimental market. So tell us about your newest item to come out of your basement workshop. Sure. What I brought with me today is a new series of uh, full color LCD instruments. Just making them full color LCD instruments isn't the thing, it's the fact that we've packed so much functionality and new features into these daylight readable, affordable instruments for any light sport or experimental aircraft. They're really pretty cool. Let's start with the fuel gauge. What we have in one instrument is the ability to read fuel levels from two different tanks, a left and a right for instance, plus the ability to have a digital fuel flow and the ability to see what's happening with your fuel level over the course of the last 30 minutes. So every five minutes it's providing updated information as to where it was, plus you're always seeing where you're at right now. So at a glance, you can look at your fuel gauge and see, oh, this is where I'm at right now, and oh, this is what my trend's been for the last half hour. I need to do something. So what is when you look at the applications for, for these instruments in the light sport and experimental market, why are you bringing this into that market when there are so many things like the Dynons and, and some of those big glass panels that a lot of people are going to in that market? Features, expense, size, weight. There is no one filling the niche of providing functionality in small instrument panels. I love Dynon. I've owned Dynon. I've got no beef with them whatsoever. But if you're looking for a solution that's lighter weight and less expensive and provides more functionality in a one ounce a 50 gram package, we've got that particular solution. And let's face it, the majority of the people who are into aircraft right now, they'd love to have Dynon style solutions for what they're doing, but many of the budgets and panel spaces and weight requirements force them to consider alternatives that have more functionality with less weight and less money. And we do that. And I think we're about the only guys who are innovating in that category. One of the things that came out in the NTSB's most wanted list was once again uh, attention to loss of control accidents. Yes. What are you doing in the realm of loss of control in that light sport and experimental market? Well, one of the best examples is of our angle of attack indicator. I have one right here. The angle of attack allows pilots to get real-time feedback as to where they're at. We're using a simple old weather vane technology, but we're using it with modern technology so it's frictionless and you can see exactly what's happening in the cockpit relative to your current angle of attack. It goes into these displays and provides the pilot real-time feedback. Am I close to stall? You know, is something going on? So this is an example of one of the innovations. Another is simply being able, on the safety side, being able to see more information so that you can make informed decisions more quickly by glancing at less panel space. We can get into two or three instruments what used to take a six pack. So, you know, it's just a lot tighter and better information display. So what's coming out of your airplane shop? Well, we've still got our Ultra Cub and Pro Cub but we're still working on the Skydock as well, and we're planning to show that at Sun and Fun here in a few months. That's our composite ultralight aircraft. You'll just have to stay tuned for that one. All right, James, well, I'm sure we'll see you at Sun and Fun. Thanks for taking some time to talk with us. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure talking to you. Aero TV is brought to you by Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.